What's up guys, Sam here, and this is Street Race Talk, episode 120, and this week we're talking about some of the realest stuff you can talk about when it comes to street racing, but before we get into that, as always, we have a couple other things to talk about, and the first thing is, Kamikaze has brought the El Camino over to HPP Racing, now these are the guys that just finished building Monda's twin turbo setup on his car, so Kamikaze probably having them help him figure everything out, get everything lined out, so he will be making tons of power and be flying in the El Camino this season for Season 11 of Street Outlaws. And speaking of Season 11, they are all ready filming it. I saw a post made by, I believe, Chief or Sean, someone in the Midwest Streetcar crew, posted this picture on Instagram during the week saying that they're rushing to get as many things done as possible, getting as many episodes filmed as possible. They're, They're doing tons of stuff right now. And that leads me to think that they're going to try and pump this episode or whole season out, actually, right around the beginning of summer or midsummer. That's my guess. Hopefully, that is true, and we'll be seeing season 11 sooner rather than later. Shipbox has been testing out in Memphis, and that leads me to think one thing. He's in Memphis. Maybe he'll be racing JJ and his crew. That would be an awesome race to see, as a lot of you know, and as we talked about previously... Shipbox actually won that winner showdown that happened in the 405. There was tons of big name small tire guys there, and he ended up winning the whole thing. So he's the real deal. He's real street, and he's really fast. So hopefully, we will see some stuff of him racing JJ, maybe on the real streets, or we'll get to see him get his chance to be on TV. And now, moving over to one of the baddest street race cars on the planet the new. Murder Nova. As we know, season 11 is being filmed right now. They have the roads blocked off weekday nights, weekend nights for that show for them to go out and film. But that doesn't mean they're not going to still do real street racing. The Murder Nova was busted out making a real street hit, test pass, whatever you want to call it. No, the car, nothing's like bad. The car isn't gone. They didn't get taken away or anything like that. But I'm just using this to show. I'm not trying to like say, haha, they got caught. I'm using this to show that Chief and Sean are the real deal. Although they, I guess you could say they're the big time now and they got the roads blocked off for them. That doesn't mean they're still not going to go out on the real streets and make a hit. Murnova sadly ended up getting caught, but... Hopefully soon, we'll see some more stuff of him back out on the streets. And hopefully, he hey, maybe he made a good test hit and we'll be seeing this thing making, hopefully making it up to that number one spot in season 11. And now, time to get to the main topic. And we're staying on the topic of real street racing. This is the realest, dealest thing that there could ever be in street racing. A big tire cash days put on by Limpy. That is right. Limpy is coming out and doing a big tire cash days. There's been a small tire cash days put on by Limpy. There's been some small tire races put on in the 405, but we haven't had a big tire cash days since the one that was at the beginning of last summer when it was the Probe and Shane in the finals. Now that was the biggest real street race of all time a 32 car field that race was absolutely insane now this one might not be the same magnitude but the races and just the excitement and the awesomeness of this race will be exactly the same they plan on having this race go down may 19th 2008 team down in texas time to be determined that's probably they're not gonna make that public that's just gonna be for the racers they're the ones that are gonna know that the rules vin tag vehicle steel roof and steel quarters but if the vehicle came from the factory with say fiberglass fenders or for for whatever reason a carbon fiber fenders then that is okay whatever it came with from the factory it must have flashlight start If you jump, you're out. If you cross the center line, the tire has to cross, you lose. Your car has to have at least 
parking lights. That is for just the finish line guy to be able to see where it is that you are. It will be a 16 car field, so it's half of what the previous big tire cash days was with the 32 car field. They're bumping it down to 16. It's a $420 buy-in. That extra $20 is going towards security, which I'm glad I'm seeing them do something like that. Chief and Sean made a point to talk about it on the podcast. How they used to always gather money together for Limpy at the end just because these guys, like Limpy and the other guys doing security, put so much time and effort into putting this race on. They're putting some money towards those guys, and I'm glad to see that they are doing that. Those guys deserve it 100%. And then it will be an 80-20 split for the pot for first and second place. If any of you are interested in competing in this cash days now guys this isn't like you got some car that you want to go out and race this race is the real deal the fastest big tire street raced cars on the planet will be at this race so for whatever reason if you think you got something for this race message limpy he's going to be taking half of the buy-in through paypal up front then when you show up you give the other half there's so that's 210 through paypal and another 210 once you show up at the race now this was just announced earlier in the week i believe wednesday to be exact so we don't know everyone that is gonna be competing in this cash days yet but we already looks like we already got two guys that are almost definite racers for this race you got marcus gaston in breaking bad that blue chevy pickup man that thing is fast won the small tire cash days against murder nova in the finals and then won also the first cash days when limpy not the first ever cash days when limpy decided to come back with that first cash days and he ended up outrunning murder nova again in the finals now this guy is the real deal a veteran of cash days he said if he's ready he will be in this race and another guy that might be in it is jb in that chevy to this guy won the first race they put on that was like a big money race like this they didn't even call it cash days back then and he was the winner so the two guys we know are already possible almost guaranteed to be in it are as real as it gets two legends of texas street racing will be in this cash days and i can guarantee you there's gonna be many other super fast cars in this race i'm almost positive we will see chief and sean at this race chief he's been itching to win a cash chase he's been in almost all of them if i'm not mistaken and he has yet to win a cash chase as he said on the podcast he could beat absolutely everyone of coming up to cash days the couple weeks or months before he could whip up on absolutely everyone making the fastest passes of his life goes to cash days and shit just hits the fan but murder nova he's had a pretty good luck at cash days he's won a couple and guys i can almost guarantee you they will be at this race and hopefully we'll see other guys like shane we saw him at that small tire cash days maybe we'll see kamikaze come out dominator maybe those guys were all at that first cash days i was talking about when limpy came back maybe we'll be seeing tons of other guys from down in texas maybe boosted gt will be at this cash days in his new car the first big race he comes out in in his new car is a real legit big tire cash days put on by limpy that would be absolutely crazy so if those guys i just named aren't getting you excited for this race i don't know what is gonna oh and maybe even we will see barefoot ronnie pace coming out in his nova that would be something really cool to see seeing ronnie and jb both in this race that's just like for uh i don't well i don't know what you would call it like a uh, term of like past times looking back on the good old times or something like that i guess you could say you guys i don't i can't think of the word right now like not endearment uh i was uh, i don't know the exact word you could just say like for the good old times sake they're they're coming for this race maybe even like i've been dying to see buddy come back out in stealth car in a cash but like chief said in the podcast we're not gonna really be seeing those kind of guys as much just simply because they didn't really evolve with the times they kind of just fell behind but 
I can guarantee you this race is going to be crazy. It's going to be insane. And I can't wait to see all the guys there. Like I said, we already know two super fast cars that will be there. And hopefully more will be coming every single week when I find out who else is going to be in this race. Other people that will be competing, I will let you guys know here on Street Race Talk. But Limpy is putting on a real deal cash days down in texas at the end of may with a six thousand four hundred dollar pot and maybe guys will add in extra as they go spectator money as well but as of right now six thousand four hundred dollars is the total pot and five thousand one hundred twenty will be going to the winner and again this is a legit illegal cash days no blocked off roads or anything like that no tv show no camera real world consequences this race is for real and it's going to be one of the biggest street races of the year and you guys are not going to want to miss it and i'll be talking a ton about it in the upcoming weeks and once it finally happens but limpy is putting on a big tire cash days So that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed. When I first saw this news, guys, I went ballistic. I was so happy and so excited. I just love cash days. It's my favorite race. There is no doubt about it. And I cannot wait to see this race go down. It's going to be a crazy wild ride and you guys will hear all of it here on street race talk so make sure you guys tune in this wednesday for another video of my car this weekend i hope to try to get the engine in betsy i'm guys i'm gonna try again trust me and a lot of people left a comment on the video i made last wednesday saying the motor mounts are, could possibly be on the wrong way but the thing is i'm guys i'm a hundred percent positive they're on the right way it says on them up and up on either one it says left and right on either mount and i even checked the instructions and looking at the pictures mine looks exactly the same and the thing is i know the motor mounts on the problem because the transmission still needs to go back this just about the same amount as the holes for the motor mounts do so i know it's just angling and fitment problems once i hopefully jack the front of the car up which that's my plan i'm gonna jack the car up a little bit so i'm able to get a better angle because my driveway's on a hill so hopefully this weekend i'll get the engine and transmission into betsy so make sure you guys tune in this wednesday for a video of that and make sure you guys tune in next friday for street race talk episode 121 where hopefully we will have some more news on people that will be in this crazy cash days that is going to be going down very soon and make sure you guys send all of your street racing news to street race talk at gmail.com if you have any news on any real street racing any news on this cash is any news about street racing in general send an email to street race talk at gmail.com and make sure you guys please 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 leave comments down below i cannot wait to hear what you guys have to say about this cash days i guys i hope you are as excited as i am about it who do you think is going to be in this race do you think chief and sean will end up going leave your comments down below read absolutely all the comments are to just about all of them and make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sim abc xyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out